Kyle Guy from the corner. 3 0 Virginia. Well, Evan, that's one of the things we talked about is how would Virginia match up against that zone? Battle to Brissett. Shot clock down to five. Battle, baseline, bucket. You probably would encourage him to shoot that shot rather than kicking it out. Isaiah Wilkins, similarly for Virginia, hasn't looked to score lately. There's a great dish from Jerome and Salt with a thunder. It's on the back screen to get over to Kyle John Guy. And then the, how about the penetration and the dish off that allows it? Quick start for Virginia. They're two for three. Double team on Howard. Sets up Tolishai. He's got it. Jerome and Guy just lead this offense with so much confidence and swagger. And Wilkins from 17 feet. There's some games where the shot clock is not a factor. Today it could be a factor every trip down the floor. Fighting his way through the traffic. DeAndre Hunter with a strong take. Initial looks that they're looking for in their offense. Virginia now one of six from deep. And Brissett erupts. And that's what Syracuse has to do, be able to get out in transition. Don't allow Virginia to set up their defense. Virginia by three. Moyer kicks it. Brissett sticks it. Going glass. I think that he, I didn't realize his bank account was open on Saturday, but that play was set up by Moyer. And he didn't call that? I don't think he called it, but I think he'll take it. He'll take it for sure. First three for the Orange and DeAndre Hunter off the bench with a quick six for Tony Bennett. When Virginia traps the ball and they're spacing a lot better than they did before. We'll keep our eye on that momentum that you prefer. There's the good drive and finish. Frank Howard. Shot clock at 11. Kyle Guy deep three. That's good. And that goes back to the principles by Syracuse. Makes its money getting deflections against a Virginia offense that turns it over as rarely as any team in the country. Well, and they've got that discipline. You see the inside, the Diakite. Shot clock at five for the Orange. Howard puts it in. Big basket by Frank Howard. The Syracuse doing a good job of making shots because sometimes good offense can overcome good, better defense. Wilkins free throw line jumper for two. That down, it's going to be able to make it a lot easier for them to get those open jump shots later. How about Wilkins? Two for two today. Here's Battle. Answer it. Howard was imploring some noise in the defensive end. Jerome will try. That's good. That's the second time that Frank Howard has gotten caught inside the three-point line. We were with each other. Brissett chased by Jerome. Brissett rejects it by Wilkins. Good help side by Isaiah Wilkins. Is that that they have the discipline to be able to get where they need to, as you see the inside pass from Hunter to Wilkins. Hunter for three. Being able to get into the gaps, making the extra pass, and getting the shots that they want. Again, quick pass to Hunter. He stays perfect. Find another way to be able to get some offense that's easier said than done. Underneath, Wilkins to Jerome. Bullseye! How about the play from Isaiah Wilkins? Chukwu to the cutting Dolezal. And that's one of the things that Syracuse didn't do in the first half. On the offensive end, Syracuse extending their pressure. One of the ways they were actually able to come back. Up oh, with a lot. Jack Salt. You have to make a hero shot. Guy will take it. Make it. Kyle Guy from deep, his third three of the day. That's a dozen days from now. About a month away from Brooklyn, Brian. And that's the when the magic starts. Hall lost it. Frank Howard, all alone. Guy dribbles out of trouble. Jerome near the midcourt logo. Zips it inside, deflected. Diakite gets it off, gets it to go. Well, when I think when you look at uh, the non-conference schedule also and how a lot of these teams play, the schedule they do, and then you know there's no easy out in the ACC with Guy knocking down yet another three. From the high post to Guy. Yakite zips it back around. Guy steps in, buries it. The three big guys, well, excuse me, the guys from Syracuse being Brissett, Howard, and also Battle plays a lot of minutes, and I wonder how exhausting it is.
good Virginia's defense is. And, and Tony Bennett, he recruits guys that, that will buy into the system, and it doesn't help hurt to have veteran guys here that are familiar. Virginia up by 16, seven and a half to play. Hunter to Wilkins. Offense will come. But again, today playing against the best defensive team in the country, you see the move by battle. They have to be able to play defense and get those easier opportunities. Run a Jim Behan. Great pass again, dear Kite. You think you guys could take down Tony Bennett's team? I'm going to obviously say that. I'm not going to tell you we lose. That would be great to watch. There's a tough take by Howard. Six of their final nine games are against teams that are currently in the top 20 in the RPI. There's a three for Tyus Battle. Good rebound by DeAndre Hunter. He'll take it up the court himself. Hunter! And oh, the foul! Oh, oh. Tony Bennett is over there shaking his head as the Wolves are like, no, 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 great shot. Go ahead and lead the break. How about DeAndre Hunter? Looking for someone to pass it to opposite. Go ahead and take the contact. Absorbing the finish. You see a foul and an acrobatic finish by DeAndre. The orange in danger of falling to four and six. Great pass to Dolezal. Nice penetration by Tyus Battle over Dolezal. Battle. Out to Brissett. O'Shea Brissett to the basket. Out of yourself, <laughs> I am, I am. Hunter feeds Diakite again. How about the bounce by Diakite? Wahoos. Well, and here's the thing with Virginia. You, you want to run your offense, take advantage of the opportunity. Again! And you would think that Syracuse would make the adjustment, understanding that you have to have someone on that backside. Cavaliers 59, the Orange 44, and number two Virginia has won 14 straight games under Tony Bennett.